And this is Jason Myers. Good evening, my name is Jason Myers. I'm a parent of two CUSD students. And for the last 19 years, I've been privileged to be a teacher here in CUSD. I currently teach history at Perry High School and as a veteran teacher, I have a unique perspective on the application of the Corwin Deep Equity Program in our district. It claims to be a vehicle for unity and inclusion, <laughs> but in reality, this program sows nothing but seeds of discord and strife. I can personally attest to this. Uh, Dr. Gilbert, you mentioned in the study session <laughs> the importance of relationships. I can't agree with you more, sir. But those relationships get shattered, destroyed by this program. Several times I've witnessed teachers' religious, political, and personal views attacked, ridiculed, and dismissed as white privilege by their colleagues. The phrase white privilege is important because it is at the very core of the Corwin philosophy, the deep equity philosophy. <coughs> Lest you think I'm misinformed, allow me to quote from the DE training manual. Gary Howard writes about how all whites can be categorized in his essay, How We Are White. He says that one category, transformationist whites, will quote, acknowledge our inevitable privilege and racism, our inevitable racism, while at the same time actively working to dismantle our legacy of dominance. There are more gems in there, but I've only got 35 seconds. <laughs> this philosophy of white privilege encourages teachers and students. Seconds. It is central, central to the Youth Equity Stewardship Workbook as well, to cultivate an us versus them mentality and destroy those very relationships that I work hard to build with my students. I know other teachers work hard to build. How can, how can a student have a relationship with me if they see me as an oppressor? Who would do that? <laughs> this program needs to be rooted out before the racist ideology embedded in Time it takes hold expired. of a